From the bone-chilling cold of Winter Storm Helena to the blistering heat of the Mojave Desert, from the sandy soils of Hilton Head Island to the rugged hills of western North Carolina, this has been an incredible year for the Wild Report. Together, we have explored many stunning locations across the U.S. and discovered some amazing animals, along with growing from less than 20 to over 1,100 subscribers. It's 10 degrees outside. Oh, whew, it's brisk. So guys, I just really want to say thank you. Uh, this channel could not happen without your feedback and your support. And you really have been with me uh, through all my different videos about all these animals. I just feel really blessed to be part of a community of people who are so dedicated to wildlife education. And you're not only learning themselves, but also sharing that knowledge with others. And I think that uh, this community we've built here is a really unique opportunity for us to educate people about the importance of wildlife which can be found in their backyards and uh, conserving that wildlife and of course the ecosystems uh, which the wildlife lives in. So yes, thank you so much for an amazing year. And with that being said, this video uh, is going to be my top wild report moments of 2017. Now exactly 12 months ago, on January 11th, 2017, I put out my first real Thursday episode. Now that was the Winter Storm Helena episode. That was the first Wild Report episode there ever was. Uh, and so it, it's really cool we get to do that on the exact same date in 2018. Kind of a review of uh, the entire last year. So it was a great year. There were definitely lots of amazing moments. It was hard for me to pick these. Uh, but I want to hear what your favorite moments of the year were in the comments section. You know, what were your favorite things I did. And I also want to hear what you would like to see from my channel in 2018. What kinds of videos would you guys like to see me make? Now, of course, I'm a little bit limited as far as, you know, the different animals I can film by what I can actually find in the woods. But I would definitely love to hear your opinion on that. So without further ado, here it is, guys. The top five Wild Report moments of 2017. Coming in at the number 5 spot is the very first Creek Exploration video. Right after a winter storm Helena hit, things warmed up considerably, and on a sunny afternoon I decided to film myself exploring my favorite creek. I caught a variety of neat creatures on this adventure, including some never before seen cranefly larvae that looked like they were from another planet. This was the first video of mine to get over 100 views. And although the quality is low, it represents a turning point for my channel. My fourth favorite animal encounter of the year was my first experience with crayfish. Also filmed during a pretty cold time here in North Carolina, finding these little animals was a complete surprise. Many of these crustaceans were discovered in a rock pile by a small creek habitat which I had never explored before, and was actually looking for salamanders and the first snakes of the year when I stumbled upon them. They are a very unique looking and also ecologically important animal, acting as a biological cleanup crew of decaying plant and animal matter. This video also taught me that while small, a crayfish pincer is definitely something to be respected. Here in there. Three. Uh. Oh, dude, that had power behind it. Jeez, that thing does have some power. The number three adventure was my exploration of Hilton Head Island. This place was absolutely stunning, and the low country swamps here provided a perfect habitat for reptiles and birds of all varieties. My favorite creature encounter of the trip came after several hours of arduous hiking through an absolutely mosquito infested swamp. I had just sat down for a drink of water when I caught a glimpse of some movement on the trail in front of me. Jumping to my feet, I found a huge eastern king snake which was at the time the largest serpent I had ever discovered. A gorgeous specimen and fun to catch. That was one awesome animal. These next two Wild Report moments were pretty close on my list, but falling just behind my top choice for 2017 is the snapping turtle catch and ensuing bite from late last summer. Hand catching a common snapping turtle had been a goal of mine since I developed an affinity for wildlife filmmaking, so when I finally had the opportunity to do so, I took it. The capture itself definitely got my adrenaline flowing, and the turtle was being a great subject to interact with, but eventually, he let me know who was boss with a nice little chomp on my hand. The bite was totally unexpected, 
and while pretty painful, it did give me a very unique opportunity to show what you should do if you ever found yourself in that very sticky situation. Alright everybody, my number one Wild Report moment of the year, as you may have expected, was finally finding and catching Big Bertha. Alright, see where my hands are? Just put your hands there. I promise you won't bite. Alright? Now you're just gonna touch her? Just like that. Have that hand. Be calm. Feel her? She's calm, you're calm, you're both calm. Okay, take her! Be calm. This legendary snake was largely responsible for kickstarting my love of all reptiles, as when I accidentally stepped on her at age 8, she never showed any aggression towards me at all. That behavior led me to question what everyone said about snakes being evil, and I began educating myself about snake biology and habits. Through that research, and admiration of wildlife presenters like Steve Irwin and Jeff Corwin, my passion about local animals grew and grew to make me the person that I am today. Thank you all so much for watching that video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Once again, this was an awesome year and I cannot thank you enough for all the support you've given me. Now make sure to look out next Thursday for perhaps the greatest creature encounter I have ever had from Southern Florida. And that's all for today's episode, guys. I'll see you next Thursday. This is Ben Zeno of The Wall Report, signing out.